G'day, it's Cam again, continuing the series on digital painting and Photoshop. Now episode 7, looking at custom brushes. So in the previous video, we did look at the different brush settings, so I won't go into that too much. But we'll just look at how to actually make our own brushes and using things like photos and some handy uses for custom brushes that we make. So firstly, custom brushes are simply just brushes that the user creates themselves. So we're creating the brush tip ourselves. So as an example, I may want to make a more painterly brush. So I can think about, okay, I'll paint in the bristles. And then to simply make the custom brush, we control click on the layer thumbnail, edit, define brush preset. It's really that easy. See, it's already updated my brush to have this one. And now we play around with the brush settings to then alter it. So let's have a look at that. Uh, so we can change things like spacing, keep it together. Can change things like set this to direction. You can change you can see it's affected by the pen pressure now. And change the transfer, also known as other dynamics in other other versions of Photoshop. So you can see already we have a kind of cool looking brush. It could be immediately when I look at this brush I think this would really solve a problem if you're painting the scales on a alligator's back or something like that. So you'll find you'll find with um, these custom brushes they're, they're going to uh, really speed up the process especially if you're doing production art because production art is all about finding quicker ways to do things and getting things in before deadline. So you can see in my set of brushes I have things such as this uh, chain brush and immediately you can see how this would really speed things up. This one is a more kind of grungy organic brush. So that that's really how we do it and I mean I could make a custom brush out of what I've just painted there by simply clicking on there, edit. Oh there is a sorry, there's a limit to how large it can be, so we'll just reduce that. Edit define brush preset and we can have a look at how that is. So yeah it's that easy. And now we've got this cool brush that looks like fur. Okay, now moving on, we'll look at uh, a, a cool tip, how we can make a custom brush using a photo. So for this we're going to use the magic wand tool. The magic wand tool. And I can just select the area that I want. I might just select those little dials. On a new layer with the selection, just fill that. Alt backspace to fill. Now keep selected. Edit. Define brush preset. Okay, let's test this out on the other document, go back to brush. Just find it down a list here. And you can see already we have this cool little cog brush. Now you can further experiment with that. Then once you're happy with the brush and the, the settings that you apply here save it as a new brush preset and that will then save the new features because if you 
it won't automatically save it so it's um it's always best to to save otherwise when you switch to another brush you're going to lose those settings if you you spent quite a bit of time changing them it can be a hassle and if you want to be really neat and tidy just salt alt and you can delete the the old old version of it so you've just got the new one that you've modified the settings of okay now moving on we're looking at uh, silhouettes so this is a piece I did earlier today for the purposes of this video um, you can see it's just some um, kind of concept art looking uh, piece of a like a crab robot thing little dude up here and it really was this easy all I did was um, have this silhouette which is just using a custom brush that I chopped back a bit with the eraser um, I can show you the brush that I used is this one uh, so I, I made a set of brushes which are kind of text shapes yeah. so you can just make these really opaque and immediately you've got some some cool looking shapes and then it's just a matter of really recognizing you know what's working in in that randomness maybe chopping some back can make like a a crawling tank thing just erasing some back So in you know a matter of seconds we have this interesting looking shape and then you can just control click that layer make a new layer and then begin to give some form to the to the inside of the silhouette so you can start hitting us describing the form you know spend, spend time on it but you can see it here with this crab bot um, just with the way the layers are I had this silhouette and then overlaid some grayscale on top some detail and then added some overlay layers and so forth so it's a really quick process have a play around with it and you know build up a nice set of brushes you can find some custom brushes that I've posted on howtodigitalpaint.com those are a painterly brush set that I that I use to solve some problems I was having with trying to get some uh, some nice painterly marks when doing master studies uh, so I was looking at some old old master oil painters and seeing these really beautiful marks in in their paintings especially in sergeant's work and trying to mimic that effect in Photoshop so check them out they're free and you're free to download them so have fun with this um, hope it's useful for you and check you out for the videos to come thank you